Thanks, Megan. Uh, to introduce myself, my name is Mike Pykuch. I've been a uh, informatics or LIMS consultant for over six years now. Time flies. Uh, have multiple large scale implementations under my belt, some of them even worldwide. Uh, worked on over 10 projects at CSOLs, some of them including things like system upgrades, ERP and instrument integrations, and tons of process improvements just around most of the system. Uh, some of my industry experience uh, involves biopharma, petrochemical, industrial gases, and aerospace materials. So just a little bit about my background. Um, I have a mic microbiology degree from Ohio State University, go Bucks. And I started my career in food safety, working as a microbiologist, um, mainly looking for pathogens in food. And so that's really where I started off as a LIMS user. Um, you know, like most LIMS users, I kind of hated LIMS. And I started getting involved to where I could actually make some changes and found myself really enjoying that. So now I can relate to people that don't like their limbs and can finally do something about it. So just a little bit about the agenda today. So I wanted to explore some inter interesting solutions to problems I've encountered since using Labware. So first we'll start off with just some normal, so totally not boring, Labware limbs uses. And then we'll talk about what can we think of when you think of Labware limbs. Things like Excel integration, dashboards that you don't need a lot, keeping track of LIMS environments without just going crazy, looking at some blueprints, and we'll just go through some other scenarios I've run into over the years that I thought were, were interesting. And finally, we'll finish up with some summary and any questions that you have. So what can Labware do now that uh, is pretty normal that we see in a lot of systems? So one thing is sample logging. So LIMS is great at keeping track of samples. You keep track of their tests and results, everything from production samples to environmental monitoring. Um, tests have pre-configured analyses that are provides a consistent way to enter data and store it. Of course, there's instrument integration. This is a staple in a lot of LIMS. So you can import results directly from instruments or software-linked instruments like Empower, for example. Uh, instrument importing can save a ton of time, especially if you're a high volume lab. Uh, Labware uses LabStation to parse data, uh, like specifically data strings, but you can also use other tools to import newer file-based instruments as well. Another area is product specifications. So these are definitely useful in regulated industries. So this, is, this ensures testing is meeting expectations. So results can be marked as out of specification or in specification or out of control even if you want a little finer tuning. You can even have multiple levels of control as well. So what this does is provides a visual indicator on results and tests and samples that allows for easy identification of problems that you're having. Then there's an audit history, provides an easy way to see changes made within LIMS. This helps comply with 21 CFR part 11 regulations, and then any other data, integri data integrity requirements that you may have. And of course, there is a lot more, but that's not really the point of this presentation. So what exactly is possible to do with Labware that isn't quite just Labware? So one of the first things I wanted to talk about is LIMS Basic. This is the primary tool for all LIMS customization. It's a programming language used only in Labware. It has similarities to many other programming languages. So it's fairly easy to learn even for a newbie like myself uh, at one point, I just worked in a lab. So LIMS Basic has a growing list of custom functions um, they provide consistent behavior where you can interact with things within limbs and even outside of limbs. You can perform SQL queries. So this is interacting with the limbs database itself where you can query and, and provide um, and search for multiple things, but you can even 
search other databases as well. So that could be useful interacting with other tools like an ERP. It's pretty common to have a more higher level user in the lab. It's commonly referred to like as a LIMS administrator. So they can utilize their knowledge of LIMS basic and the lab work functions to accomplish some of these tasks. And this is kind of really what we're, uh, the, the type of person we're aiming to talk about here. So first thing, Labware is great at storing data. Um, a lot of the time it's spent during implementation is setting up things like analyses with you know set calculations and instrument imports. But one thing that's tough to do is how do you view and examine and share that data? So one option is Crystal Reports. This is a pretty classic reporting tool, works straight through Labware. It's great for producing things like COAs and turnaround time reports, lot summaries, pretty much anything you can think of. Uh, so one of the issues though, is that requires you to set up a template that requires some knowledge of Crystal Reports. It's not necessarily the easiest thing to use. Uh, exports are usually PDFs too. So manipulating the data after you've created it, it's really not possible after exporting. So that's fine for a thing, something like a COA, but maybe for exploring data, it's not quite as good. Another option is NWA. So this is Northwest Analytics, provides graphs. Um, you can launch these directly from LIMS. So you can even start from a folder and just launch a graph. So it's fairly easy to set up, um, especially if you're using product specifications that can help put limit lines right on the graph easily. You can have trend lines on there. So some of the issues with NWA though is graphing capabilities aren't quite as powerful as some other tools. Um, and it's to customize the look and feel, there's certainly things you can do, but uh, there's limits to those. Uh, multiple types of graphs at once can, can be a problem. Data displayed is limited to what's inside Labware too. And um, exports, of the data themselves are not quite as easily able to share with others. Finally, we've got Excel interfacing. So most lab users are pretty proficient with things in Excel, um, at least in my experience. So sharing files with others is pretty easy. Most people have Microsoft Office suites installed. Uh, data can be sorted, searched for, can even change data if you need to, just to explore um, how that would make differences. And then the graphing options are fairly extensive um, in that you can make changes on the fly, you can customize formatting in a lot of ways. So, but with that, there are, are issues where data can be changed. Uh, so this would probably not be a great solution for remaking a COA, for example. So LIMS has many ways to interface with Excel. Probably one of the simplest ways is just a simple CSV or comma separated values export. You can launch these straight from Data Explorer. Um, you can do LIMS basic to export these. It's just really a quick way to export data that really doesn't offer much in the way of formatting. And you have to be careful on what kind of data you export to because commas can cause issues. So if you have a comma in your product description, you've got to know how to handle that. Another option dealing with Excel directly is DDE or dynamic data exchange. It's one of the earliest communication techniques with Excel. Um, it was, was used to send instrument data right to Excel um, back in the day, but there's some limited functionality. Um, one of the good things is it's pretty quick to process, but you can only do so much with it. So just for example, some functions, you've got DDE execute. It's used for commands like opening a file. There's a poke command which inserts items into a cell, for example, and a request, which returns an item, such as a cell value. So along with Labor 7, the Labor included some easier to use and more Excel specific functions. So these are pretty good for opening an Excel file and just sending it over an array of data without too much limbs, basic programming really. So compared to DDE, this offers a performance improvement with sending over large amounts of data. It's also easier for a less experienced LIMS admin or developer to work with. So some examples of these functions would be 
Excel get value, which opens Excel and retrieves a value. Excel set array, sets an array with a starting cell on a worksheet. And then you have Excel close and Excel quit, which close and quit the application. So these are pretty plain English commands. They're fairly easy to use. Um, and their, their functions are somewhat limited, but um, if you're just sending over data to Excel, they work great.